Hey, what's going on guys? So I know I made a video about this one already, but I actually just got done finishing the 8k textures for this map, the rural Australia that's available for free right now in the Epic Marketplace. So go ahead and download it if you haven't done so. And once you add it to a project, if you go to the folder of that project, go to the folder and you're going to see a link right here. Copy and paste this link and download the 8k textures. And after that, all you have to do is copy and paste those textures. It took pretty much the whole day because I kept getting an error so I just kept trying and trying and trying I think it's like eight gigabytes total all you have to do is copy these three folders and drag and drop it right here and that should overwrite the textures that's already inside the project so if you want the 8k textures that's how you do it you download it and copy and paste it here so if I take a look you're gonna see that the resolution is 8192 by 18192 and that way it's just gonna override everything in the static mesh folder so all right we have the project opened and the 8k texture yeah <laughs> you can definitely tell it's pretty it's pretty nasty so let me turn off okay so our, our fps is on so let's start with not this map let's start with the first map because i actually have a couple of map level areas that if we hit it we're going to change maps so let's start with the first one and let me open a blueprint so i can have static fps here as well right here we're just adding a console command stat fps so that you have that fps save so once we press play here it should show up the fps and somebody wanted to know if you can drop a meta human inside here yes you can here's one there's a meta human inside this map okay all right so there's our button let's press play and we have a little ghost girl here to change it up a little bit and then i'm just gonna fly around here and I'm getting about 86, 87 to 90 FPS kind of flying around. And like I said, the 8K texture, my goodness. Definitely, it it's pretty darn insane. It looks great. Show you guys right here. There's a tree right here. Look at this thing. Oh my god, dude. Now, as far as I know, one person did this. This whole entire map. And he worked on it for a long time. Just so much respect. So much respect. This is... This is insanity. So let's fly around here. Ah, it's just nasty, man nasty the 8k textures just be careful not to uh have your computer catch on fire when loading these 8k textures cut is it's pretty nasty and this map is actually huge let's go up so you can kind of see how big it is it's quite massive That's crazy, man. Like, seriously, I really hope we would get a lot more of these here. It's, this is just so fun. Let's see if we can hit one of the birds. Oh, nope. Alright. Let's see if we can load to the other level. Press play. Should be right here. Let's walk in there. Alright, so it's gonna port us into this map here and look at these cliffs. Now usually there is a blocking volume here. Let me explain that real quick. 
for the second map, there is actually a blocking volume. Let me make sure I'm telling you guys what I did, sis, because you might not be able to do it. If you go to your world outliner, delete blocking volume two, and that's gonna let you fly higher. Okay, so let's start. It's crazy. And you can delete that blocking volume here as well, so you can see the entire map. Well, let's fly up. The difference. It's crazy. And if it looks good real time, I can only imagine what this would look on like a cinematic sequencer. Alright, so we got a blocking volume there as well. Which, let's go ahead and get rid of. Alright. This should let us fly around the entire map now. And I'm doing the flying thing because fellow YouTuber Greg Corson wanted to see how much you can fly around this thing. I mean, like I said, you can have a decent aircraft fight in here. So that's pretty much just one-sided. So cool. I can go up as well. I just need a flying sound and we're good, man. Spark up here. Crazy, 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 crazy. Absolutely, he did such a fantastic job in this map. It's insane. Let's go on this side. Let's look at the reflections. <laughs> so cool. Oh man. All right. Oh, nasty. All right, I think I have another map here. Should be another map change. Now I turned the volume off, that's why I'm able to do this here. Usually there's a volume that's gonna make you stop. Alright, so here we are. Or so, met a human right there actually. Okay, that one's screwed up. I don't think I set the player start for that one, so let's let's go back in there. So for the game mode here, yeah, I didn't set anything. So let's do third person. There we go. And this is the street one. This is probably the smallest one. Not much going on. Um, like I said, it can still be a cool little set. So let's fly around this one as well. It's like the Matrix, dude. Like Neo flying. Yeah. Getting 100 FPS here because there's not much going on. I mean, obviously the assets are repeating themselves, but still. So 
So I tried packaging this up for an EXE. I was not able to package it up as a game. If you guys have, uh, if you guys are able to package this up as a game and open it, let me know what you did, because I was not able to do it. I was getting all kinds of errors. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's just an updated version of that map. But this time around, I downloaded the 8K textures as well. If you want to learn Unreal Engine 4, but majority of the videos out there are for video game creations. Maybe I can help with that. I just created a beginner's course on how to make a movie inside Unreal Engine 4. In an hour and 40 minutes, I'm going to teach you how to install Unreal Engine 4 to create your very first CG animation. Unreal Engine is the future, and this video is the perfect introduction to it. 